G G G G G G G G G G G unit. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Gabino Games, and today we are covering this Carcano Meta, and it's basically a mix of all these Carcano werewolf, either a sheer or like a second awakened figure together with a Triana, but they're actually doing very well. You see here, 13 wins is a seven losses. Well, this one is just newly put up, but generally we will be facing these defenses in this siege battle today oh you got that one 22 wins is to 12 losses pretty op look at that oh man <laughs> yeah it's kind of scary but we will put it to the test and we will share with you today the successful teams that our guildies actually use to attack them special thanks to our guild master papa dragon and ray of course, including our Vice Guild Masters, we got PY, Justin, and our senior leaders, who are Ice Americano, El Dinat Fiber No Pack, and Dire Blue. Now we got some time to check out the defenses of our opponents today. We are battling Tear Club, Insula Adventum. And we're coming from the boss hotel now checking out more of these towers we got a tower full of these wow that's the water Ryu together with the Ritesh and the Perna newly set up up nine wins 33 losses okay how about yellow 10 it's an LD not five tower and then of course you got beer clubs number nine here Wow, that's a nice one, that Ryu, Savannah, and Ken. Who's gonna go first? Ryu or Ken? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see if we get the chance to face it. <laughs> okay. Next up, looking at the NB4 tower. Yep, more of that Carcano, Vigor, and Triana. We'll just wait for the targets, and we'll get right at it. Here we go, Carcano, Eshir, and Triana Tower. It's from Insula Adventum, and here's Tylo with a Skogul, Second Awakened Lulu, and that was a Icares. You got Dean here with a Garo Draco, and that's Second Awakened Kali. Next up, we got Lee with a Vigor, Kaki, and Triana. Okay, let's go attack it. Let's go try our Olivia, Bulldozer, and Second Awakened Lulu. Oh, okay. Addy's on it. Here's Adito with a Susano, Konamiya, and that's a Mina. Definitely going for the snipe on that sniper. <laughs> well, you should, right? Technically, um, you should. Especially because she, he puts, what, a defense break on a random opponent, right? And now here's Sheeter with a Shren, Skogul, and Second Awakened Lulu. Booyah! Next up, we got Yellow 4 from Beer Club, and it's that light and dark NB5 tower. So many LNDs, man. Well, let's go attack this John, Laura, and Lydia. We're gonna bring in our Bulwark, Emilia, and I'm thinking our Vampire Skogul. We are going to take the second turn. We're going to let them go. This Laura has that strip, right? Yeah, that strip is so scary because, you know, if she uses that strip, she strips all the immunity on you and then you got that zone able to provoke you and then Lydia's just gonna wreck your team. So I'm thinking we should kill this Lydia first. All right, yeah, because without the Lydia, they don't really have a lot of damage, right? Although the Laura does have that strip and if she gets that strip on and that kind of provocation through, then she will CC you for sure. Um, nonetheless, that's not enough damage uh, for the team that we brought in. And 
let's see <laughs> you'll never know I mean not yet finished but we'll have to survive it see all oh, that's oh see what I mean well we can heal up yeah but imagine Lydia going through with the uh, oh man so much pain so much pain I'm thinking if this Laura is on a swift build she probably is right not a violent build but let's go snipe this Sean and yep three versus one are pretty good no that's a violent <laughs> it's a violet Laura of course nice very nice occult girl yeah she doesn't well technically all occult girls on skill one right when they put the enemy to sleep they get another turn so yeah but i think that was a violent op siri next up we got a tessarian bastet and odin let's go louise tessarian and camilla it Giving them the first turn again. Here comes the Bastet. Desarion or Odin? Okay, Desarion goes first. And then will Odin. Oh, of course, the Violin proc. Alright. Now, we will kill the enemy Desarion first. Mainly because we have Tank Mila tanking this Odin. And yeah so much pain and danger from this Tessarian especially because he has that oblivion Ooh, <laughs> nice nice one Tessarian yeah hoping for a second Tessarian we are farming those ifrit pieces um we got like the last uh, ifrit summon we got or we did was um we got another theomars that would be the third theomars Nonetheless, just so good. I mean, you know, how many monsters have Oblivion? Not much. And with a defense break in his kit, the Siren is definitely OP. But because of the patch, it's time for the Carcano meta. Especially with that 24% speed lead in Siege Battle or Guild Content. Now, the Kumun was nerfed, but Carcano had to step up. And let's see... Let's see this new meta. It's very interesting, especially if you build him on Violent, right? Some or most players would build, or the ideal build on a Carcano would be a speed crit damage attack, right? But because of the current crit rate um, adjustments, right? You just have to make sure that he is able to crit because with that defense break and the additional damage coming from his passive, he can really pack a punch man yeah um let's see later and um, we'll try to find a carcano defense and of course we'll hit it we'll hit it and we'll hit it hard hopefully we beat it but we'll see rng yeah so many people with the carcano defense nowadays so scary like how many teams can you bring against it we'll see today lp heineken Salute to you. Here we go. It's a Carcano NB5 combo. Well, this one's NB4, but on an NB5 tower? I don't know. Let's go try it out. Let's go bring in our Galleon, Tiana, and Zyros. Zyros, don't fail me, man. Tiana should get the first turn. Alright. Time for wind of changes. Time to loot. And then Zyros, right? So. Time to loot. Defense breaks. Okay. Fiery breath. Reset. And kill? Whoa. No. Of course. Wait. So. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. 
Oh man, but damn. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say. Okay, Heineken, that was that was a scary. <laughs> that was scary. Well, here's Red Minion with a Galleon Fedora, and that's a Miho. Okay, let's go attack this one again. This time it's the Carcano together with Clara and of course Savannah. I don't know, I'm thinking. Let's go bring in our Skogul, Icarus, and Triana. Right? Hmm. Yeah, they don't have sustain. And. Yeah, I don't know about the Icarus. How about Laika? Yeah, because Laika doesn't glance. So we should be able to hit that Carcano, right? Let's see. Clara goes. Oh man, stuns everyone. Defense brick. Oi. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, nice Valiant proc. Yep. A Violet Carcano. A Violent Savannah. Kill the Carcano, dude. No heals on his side. But the defense break on the Triana with this Savannah coming up. Oh, I nice sleep. I can see. Mm. <laughs> nice. Nice one, Laika. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, if he procs violent, you know, he, in the beginning of his turn, he puts a defense break, he goes into position, and then if he violent procs, like, this crazy savannah is you know you can just snipe your monster off the bat so oh man but good thing Laika doesn't glance nice defense from Q now let's see what our goldies are bringing in here we got Forky oh that's a nice one Leo, Verd and Tyrannis oh man that's a nice team OP Forky GG all right, we got another LND tower here from Pure Club, and here's Justin with the uh, Kali, Dark Dalsim, and Chasun. Let's go hit this OP and scary Ryu together with the Savannah and the Dark Ninja, also known as Han. Okay, let's cleave it. Good thing we got Dova with the Rabbit's Agility and Lucian with the Amputation Magic. We're gonna pop that passive of this. Where are you? Okay, nice snipe. Gucci. Well, okay. I thought the Savannah was gonna go like violent crazy and kill everyone, but we got the second Sierra here with the full attack runes. OP. Yep, that was good. Dear Mans, that's a nice hand, man. So many LNDs. What do you do? How are you so lucky? Here's Joe with a Martina, Shaina, and that's a Triana. Okay, next up, we got here Mazinigami with that Rina Belial combo. Let's see how they do. There goes Joe. And there goes Mazi. Nice suit. Here come the Karkana and Ashir Triana. Here's Hop with the Jewel Tan, Second Awakened Lulu, and a Vigor. Okay, we got Addy with a Zenobia, Shaina, and a Jewel Tan. OP combo. You got Granzi with that Garo, Draco, and Kali. Second Awakened, of course. And you got here A with a Vigor, Kaki, and this time, a Harmonia. Okay, next up, we got Ice Americano with the same Zenobia, Shaina, and Jultan combo. Nice, so <laughs> Yeah, Jultan to tank the Ishir for sure. OP. Okay, more of this. Carcano, Iris, and Triana Tower. We got Justin 
with the tractor Lulu and Bigger. Next up, we got Lee with his own Carcano, Vigor, and Triana. Okay, let's go hit it. Let's go bring in that combo. That Tractor, Lulu, and a Second Awakened Vigor. But I'm thinking we'll need someone to tank this Carcano. Let's bring in Jultan. Yeah, Jultan should be able to tank and do enough damage to this Carcano. Oh, but here's Jin Yao. Let's see what team he brought in. Okay, we got that Karo, Draco, and the second Awakened Kali. Okay, let's go try this one again. Let's bring in that team. Yep, Jultan, Lulu, and Bigger. Let's see if our Vigor is thick enough to handle this. The main damage dealer is of course the Carcano. So we'll start working on the Carcano. We're gonna save the multi-hits until... Um, what do you call it? Until his life is low. At the same time... We'll need to control immunity with our Lulu here. You see the Valen procs? How about we kill the Iris because we don't want her stripping. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. Okay, let's go heal up the Jultan. Wow, so much. So much stuns coming from that Iris. Okay, nice Valent Proc. I'm thinking if we should kill the Iris. Yeah, because she stuns and strips. And, okay, yeah, let's kill the Iris. Yeah, because she strips and stuns, and it's kind of ruining the immunity coming from our Lulu. And at the same time, we're not really afraid of this um, Carcano because we have the Jultan tanking him. But say, if the Jultan or that Carcano had more damage against the Jultan, it would be very dangerous. Or at the same time, if say, the Triana is a crit Triana, which means she's probably built on a fast vampire, uh, no, violent set, right? Speed, crit damage, usually HP. Some are more aggressive, especially the higher end game players where they have speed crit damage attack but with a lot of hp subs you know sub stats in their runes and yeah it can get really crazy but yeah just make sure when you're attacking this defense you know you got someone to tank that carcano or you got someone to do enough damage against the carcano at the same time you got you know bring in immunity or take the first turn against it right well, based on the teams that we were able or are sharing with you today. Um, yeah, we'll see. Different builds on the defense too, right? Don't forget about that. Because at the end of the day, it's all in the runes. Now, this 3 versus 1, no way Triana can solo us. Because we still got the Jultan. Yep, and of course... Lulu. Yeah, we already have two Lulus. Yep, built them. Um, two bulldozers as well, but still, you know, improving on the rune quality on the second bulldozer. But nonetheless, OP. Man, so many Carcanos. Nice one. Ka -ka -ka -ka! More of the Carcano Eshir Triana. We got here Hop with his very own Carcano, Eshir, and Triana. Yeah, playing smarter than the AI there, brother. Here's Stylo with uh, Draco, Garo, and Second Awakened Kali. Alright. And against Stylo, this time a Olivia Bulldozer and Lulu. Next, we got here Hop with a Vigor, Elusha, and Sin. 
Gucci, here's Justin with the tractor, second awakened Lulu, and figure. Just make sure you think you have to bring tractor on destroyed in order to, you know, kill that Triana at the end of it. Okay, GG, OP. Next up, more of these Tessarian Bastet Odin defenses. Here's Mazinigami with the Ariel, Tessarian, and Villaduel. Very interesting. Well, let's go hit OPKO. We're testing out our Olivia together with Bulldozer. And this time, Wusa. Wusa to provide the immunity and shields against the Oblivion and defense breaks of that Tessarian and Bastet. Let's see how this works. Wusa should outspeed the Bastet. Alright. And then Bastet goes. Okay, but... I mean, this AI is very smart, huh? Uh, nonetheless, we will have to kill the Odin first because once, yeah, that Odin gets all that, uh, what shall I call it, knowledge, he can snipe our Wusa. Therefore, now he's gonna be. Okay. Can we stun? No stun. Yeah, because of the resistance lead, so that's a resistance play with this Tessarion who's already gonna go through. Okay. Stun the Tessarion. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. If he was able to put a defense break on the Olivia, right, and then the Odin takes the turn, then Odin can actually snipe and work on the Olivia. That's why it's very dangerous. Okay. Yeah, we're just. We'll have to wait for our full power punch to go off cooldown. And then on the next turn, we're gonna give briefing to our bulldozer. And then full power punch onto the Tessarion. Alright, Gucci. Yeah, we're gonna be expecting a lot of Karkanos with the current meta into the tournament. Uh, but yeah, with just luck, we are doing our best farming and preparing for it. But at the end of the day, it's all gonna be up to RNG, like it always is. Like even in the RTA battles, right? I mean, I just hope and pray that it becomes, you know, a fair and equal RNG turn of things, not just one way. But anyway, there goes the Bastet. Okay, so far so good. OPQ. Let's see our guildies attack in here. We got A with the Rika Gani and that's A Triana. Reset that Odin. Here's Adi this time with that Olivia Bulldozer and Lulu. And Pow Pow also bringing in a Olivia Bulldozer and a Wusa this time. There goes A. Yep, there goes the base. Nice suit. Okay, we got this Tessarian, Iris, and Savannah. We're going to bring in our Bale. Together with the Frigate and the second Lucian. We got the speed, but will we have enough attack power here with no buff? This is kind of risky, I think. <laughs> but we do have the attack power lead from Bale, right? Can we kill this Iris? Oh no. That was a bit risky. Um, but we can put defense break. Start of Apocalypse should kill. Oy. So close. Yeah, good thing uh, we have Frigate there. Nice stuns from the Frigate. Oh. Yeah, that's why Frigate is good. But it's just that... 
Okay, we kill. We should. Yeah, because the secret to, you know, killing that Iris is bringing in a slow but heavy hitting fat Lucian. Here we go. We're gonna attack on two. This Water Ryu, Ritesh, and Perna. In terms of turn order, they're looking at their skills, right? Ryu will go first, strip. Ritesh will go for the defense break. And then Perna is gonna go kill a wind or fire defense broken monster. Well, let's go FY, Emilia, and Perna. It's going to be a second turn team. Doesn't go for the strip, but nice resistance from our Fungian. Okay. Yeah, that was. I mean. I don't know. <laughs> we wanted to put it to the test, though, but I don't think this Perna will be able to. Whatchamacallit? Snipe our um, Fungian, even say. Yeah, if, if it's defense broken, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Um, nonetheless, of course, that is risky. Um, better to bring in all monsters on immunity. Um, nonetheless, of course, you do have this Ryu with a strip. So it's still going to be RNG. It's just that, you know, you have better odds of surviving or, you know, better odds of in case not like the earlier example where he doesn't strip um, nonetheless yeah we do have our Fong here I'm, I'm thinking if we should kill the Ritesh but the Ritesh is so tanky right but let's go kill the Perna already yeah because the Perna is kind of soft softer than the both of these guys oh man Will that kill our Perna? Oh no, okay, okay. But well, we have the defense break on the Ryu. So I'm thinking, let's test it. Yeah, we still have extra life from our Perna and we already popped his passive, right? Let's see. Oh, this, the RNG, oh man, strips everything, of course. Here comes the defense break. Okay, um, is that a dead Emilia? Okay, no, no, not yet, not yet. We'll have to transform and shake that off. Hmm, we got a defense break, but that's okay. Okay, nice one, nice one. We have to ideally kill the Ritesh, because the Ritesh is just, you know, providing the sustain the defense breaks and without the defense breaks coming from this Ritesh we should be good um come on now oh oh man so smart right I mean <laughs> finally we got the defense break on the Ritesh with no defense buff and then all of a sudden yeah the Ryu is able to put the attack break on us well, let's go. Okay. Oh man, that was... That was OP. That was Gucci. That's scary. I mean, yeah, of course, a really good defense will always involve a plan of attack, right? Okay, let's see. We still got another one here. Let's go attack it. Again, a Water Ryu, a Ritesh, and of course, that Perna. I'm thinking we can go Mo Long. Should we scoggle it? But we don't have a Triana or a Har. Well, yeah, we have Harmonia. But the thing is, yeah, we can't. We won't be able to kill the Water Ryu, right? So let's just go with the Icares. Yeah, Mo Long, Beta, and Icares. First to snipe would be the Ritesh. Yeah, because the Ritesh has the defense break, the heals, and everything. 
And yeah, let's go kill the Ritesh. Wow, so much HP. Look at my Molong. <laughs> okay, well. Perna's not gonna attack onto the Molong anyway, and we do have heals from our beta. At the same time, we got multi. Wow, that's a despair. Yeah, I think. I believe that's despair, because. Yeah, the water Ryu doesn't exactly have stuns on the first turn, right? Well, I don't think so. Well, the Perna does. <laughs> I know. I know the Perna does. Okay, 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 come on. Wow. So much pain. Kill this Perna now. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, don't. Okay, two versus one now. Decreases attack bars. Oi. Uh, reckless assault. Okay. Stun. Nice stuns. Okay. Oh man. And. Yeah. Nice. Sue. Uh, that was so close. That's the last of our monster attacks for today. We'll be back for the results of this siege battle. That was for you, G G G G G G G unit. <laughs> Thank you, Adi. OP, brother. There you go. GG, well played to Insula Ventum and Beer Club. And of course, to our guildies from the Boss Hotel. Now, time for our SSS trophy box. Can we get lucky? Well, good enough that we did get crystals here 333 crystals and 365 guild points. I think at the lower levels, yeah, because on our alternate account, we would get over a thousand guild points. But the crystals, not so much, I think. Maybe the most we got, I don't know, maybe 150 or 200. Well, anyway, here we go. Opening our SSS trophy box, and I'm thinking four chances for a shiny. Will we get a shiny? Finally, a shiny box. Wow, alright. Light and dark summoning pieces to get a bit some mystical scrolls and water scroll. The runes, not so much. That, that was a flat one and this is a blue one. So, plus 150 crystals. Alright, more crystals for farming, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. Shout out to Heartbeat, Light from Heaven, you got Kiko, you got Nins, and of course Crossheart. Thank you for watching, have a great week ahead, may the force be with you, we will see you on the next one.